Hey guys, George Lunch with Legendary Gear. Here to do our advanced uh, training sequel of calling. This is actually gonna be advanced field calling for hunting. Uh, we did our beginner, we did a, a medium, and this is what I'm calling the advanced. Now in, in the beginner, we talked about air presentation, we talked about push point, we went through hand positioning and all that. We got into the second, which we talked about trying to get the different notes from different uh, sounds of clucks, from low cluck to the high cluck. We talked about doing a murmur. We talked about doing a comeback call. What we're gonna do is talk about a little bit today, my advanced calling out in the field, my hunting strategy, my field calling strategy. And we're gonna take it from each note basic and the exercise for each note that I'm doing. And then at the end of it, I'm gonna kind of put it all together and you'll hear what it will sound like out in the field. So one of the things that we get asked all the time, and it doesn't matter if it's a beginner or the guy who's a medium caller, you know, everybody wants to master the spit note. And I try to explain to them, well, can you cluck? Have you learned, are you, do you have the throat control? And I always mention that a lot. Um, I use a lot of throat control. Basically everything is in my throat, you know, the tongue, you know, a lot of guys get worked up in their head again about, you know, whether my tongue is going to the roof of my mouth and they're, so they're going back and forth. Absolutely, when you're speaking in any English language that you're pronouncing, pronunciating your words, you know, the tongue will move to, to stop that, you know, whether it's your T's or the P's and, and stuff like that, the D, you know, your tongue is always moving in different possession, uh, positions. And that's kind of going to be the same way what I'm doing an ending a note. You know, the tongue and, and whether it's the tip of my tongue or someone talking about the tip of the tongues, I use the tip of the tongue, I use the arch of my tongue. Everything with, with, of your tongue is, is involved in calling. So don't get just worked up that it's gotta be the tip of the tongue. Everybody has a different style. Again, I'm gonna be going over what I figure is my style of calling and what I like to do and what works for me. So it, hopefully what works for me, I found to be the easier, it's, uh, it just works great for, for calling in the field, being able to establish those different notes. And we're gonna get through that a little bit today. Now there is, might be what some people call pronunciation. Again, what I'm talking about, it's the air presentation from the push point, but I'm utilizing that throat. The tongue is the end in the note. The lips is actually uh, creating the air diameter, the air channel, you know, I used that comparison before about a garden hose, you know, when you turn on the pressure and the garden hose, say you've got an inch hose, and each time you can start condensing it and, 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 and uh, making that opening smaller, you get down to a half inch to a three eighths, now you're getting that burst of coming through there. And that's the same thing in the diameter of your throat and presentating your air, whether you're trying to get or to a You hear the difference of that, and I'm gonna go through that and then through this advance. So it's utilizing push point and the throat break in the call. By doing that and being able to master that, you'll find that a lot of times I can take the hands right out of the equation and basically in my middle tone of what I use out in the field with not even having the hands you know, there. The hands, a lot of guys put, the hands are important. Where the hands can constrict you is when you're choking down the call and creating too much back pressure. So that is the place, but it's the hands aren't the only thing in calling. So to me, I put the hands is down maybe at the third important, you know, we get, you know, from the, the air presentation and then the utilizing of your throat. Well, I'm gonna go back again and we're gonna talk about the spit note. This is the note that everybody asks when you're out in the field. You know, you just, uh, just called in some geese and sometimes it's a note that I just do two or three times. And you know, if the birds are working, it's actually a reaction note. It's an aggressive cluck basically when a, when a goose gets excited. Uh, you'll hear that a lot in the air. You know, when they da -ha, da -ha, da -ha, da -ha, when they come in and kind of almost with, a, with excitement sharp with a double cluck at the end, um, but you're speeding that up. So it works great on geese. It's sometimes, to me, it's just a natural note, giving it to them, giving something that's uh, just trying to get a reaction again. But to get that note, now, everything that I'm showing you in this advanced version can be done with every one of our calls, from the old man to the alpha, the omega, to the, uh, the exit, uh, even to our new ripper call, which I find for me, um, I prefer the shorter calls. Our new ripper is, uh, is just under four inches. 
I think it's three and three quarter inches long. And, and to me, I can run that call completely almost all open handed. And it's a call that's just got that gravelly high pitch and, and with the short air burst, it gives me quick response into my sounds into my clucks. So anyway, we're gonna get into that spit note. Here's the thing what a lot of guys trouble and stumble on with that spit note is they try to re they try to get that note up front and with the lips. And what I'm actually doing, which you can, the lips come and play, but I'm not kissing into the call. Again, I'm locking the call to to who to who to who to who to who to who. So the call is locking here. But I'm switching to here, so when that reed comes down to who, I'm bringing that reed back up and getting that. Now you hear that, and that can go to different ways. I can get low. But I'm still to who. And you'll hear I'll change a little bit in my air presentation, and that's going to come with practice. I can tell you everything that I'm doing, and you're going to pick up the call and say, oh, man, I, I still don't get it. it you got to take what I'm teaching you, and then you got to practice. Remember, practice don't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. And you're going to have to work with it because you're going to have to, I can lead you to the water. You're the one that's got to drink it. You've got to be able to practice it over and over. And what you're doing is you're creating muscle memory. That is something that I can't do for you. That comes with practice of just feeling that. So when you're even driving down the road. You see how moving my hands, I can get different pitches of that call. But that's basically getting in that spit. Now, a lot of guys who try to... See, I'm trying to put, they're trying to push everything up front and it's, it's not working. So I got to, you can do to ha, to who. So once you get that and you start getting that, you see I'm going from here to here, from here to here, then you're going to start practicing. And when I always try the little exercise that you can do, just sitting around, whatever you're doing, but always just like when I was teaching the clucks, you want to do 10 clucks right in the road. So you want to get. And get 10 perfect clucks. Well, what I'm trying to do on that spit note, I'm going to work that spit note and my exercise is. Once I get that down where I can do that 10 times without making a mistake, then what I, you want to start speeding it up. And this is going to be down with the throat exercise, getting the to who and speeding that up and getting this to who, to who, to who, to who, to who, to who. that exercise and, you, and once you're starting to get that when you can do uh, get that spit note down yourself and once a lot of time when guys get it they go oh man I got it that's easy but again it's understanding from the lips to the throat back to the lips Ta. <laughs> to who to who pushing from the push point adding a little bit of the uh, throat inflection so that's what we're gonna go with the spit note now, what I'm gonna talk about, what I like to do, I'm gonna get into um, my murmur. And basically, when we're getting this, the murmur into the train, and, and then we're gonna take it to aggressive murmur. But I'm gonna start off with the murmur, and this is where I'm talking about the air point, your push point, but my air presentation. And what I'm usually doing is I'm backing that air off, and this is where it takes practice to get the feel for that air. <laughs> And what I'm 
doing with the bass in my throat. And when you get a little bit of that whistle, you'll start getting that little bit higher pitch. And again, that's going to come with practice and getting the feel for that call. But my basic thing again. And that's a good exercise right there. Practice pushing that note. Now, once I get that, I'm going to start getting. Now, to getting up, once I get that down with my murmur, getting that, and I'm pushing that air with my lips, and I see my lips are going to be tight to constrict that air, and then I'm going to push this behind it. You know, so the air is being pushed and then constrict here. This is the size of my diameter. So once I get to that, and I'm putting a little bit more air at the end to get that kind of a murmur with the cluck. Now I'll practice that again the ten times. And then you can start speeding that up. So that's basically that murmur with that cluck. The spit note between that is a, and that murmur cluck, a lot of times out in the field, man, that's all you can do and, and finish the geese, the geese right in your bootstraps. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to add a little bit with the train, and the spit note with the train and, and, and come back and stuff like that. I'll blend that together. But to get that train, I'm basically... <laughs> getting that advanced version I like to use that a lot of times as my plea and my comeback if I'm out there I can just give a spit they start to move out and that can, is kind of like my advanced version of a comeback out in the field so I kind of got to spit now we kind of turned to that, that train Trying to get to that is my plea, my comeback. One up, one thing I want to get on is going to talk about my advance cluck, my kind of a speed cluck. And what I'm kind of taught you before that. Yip, 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 yip. Now what I'm going to do is. So that is how I'm getting to that speed cluck again. So learn to use, I'm utilizing that throat to break that call to get it. Hip, hip. And it's so fast that I'm telling you guys, if you're trying to get the tongue, the tongue can't keep up. 
so it's gonna get slaughtered or you know sloppy but I'm counting is that clean <laughs> Raising the tone of my voice a little bit and pushing just a tad more air at the end gives me that higher pitch. <laughs> and that right there, a lot of times, guys, when those geese are holding up at 50 yards, and just stay onto that aggressive. <laughs> that. <laughs> Practice that. Listen to yourself when you're doing it. Record your things. But I'm giving you the keys that's gonna unlock that door. You still have to walk through and do the practice to get it, but I'm giving you the keys to open that door to get more advanced to the next level that you wanna reach in that plateau out in the field. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. Then when I get into the advanced murmur I was talking about earlier, <laughs> There's nothing when those geese are locking out there and floating in. This is a great call to finish them. And the slower I go, the more I back down from the aggressive in the beginning because you don't want to blow or hit it the air too hard at the beginning. So as I start slowing down, I start instead of getting away from the goo 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 goo, I'm going to. Yuck, yuck. <laughs> That's a great little call on the water right there. You can kind of keep it low and, and down and everything and, and get them to finish in. So there we kind of talk about the spit note. We've talked about um, how to get the train with the spit. And then we talked about the slow murmur. And then we talked about a fast murmur. And then, um, you know, kind of finish them up. So I've told you I'm going to teach you all that. Now we're going to kind of, if I was in the field, kind of how it sounds all running together. There you go, guys. I hope all this right here, if you practice, remember perfect, perfect practice makes perfect. Hey, guys, going to take a quick pause here just to say, I hope you appreciated this advanced instructional video that we've done. Please like it and subscribe. And if you would, please, man, share it with your friends, share it with your buddies. You know, also, we got a new treat that's going to be coming. Keep watching on our website. We'll have a link that you can click on and you can personally hook up with me, George Lynch, in a one-on-one -on -one instructional to help you FaceTime whatever we can to get you to that next level, to get you to that legendary gear level in the field. Our website, don't forget, is legendarygearusa.com. It's legendarygearusa.com. You'll see all our products. You can see our podcast. And like I said, we can work one-on-one -on -one instructional.